The government has directed the finance ministry to take urgent steps to seek a bailout from the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. The move is aimed at stabilizing the city and boosting the confidence of investors. <coughs> now, while some have hailed the decision as the right way to go in saving the ailing economy, others see it as eroding the gains made over the last decade. A Deputy Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Kersiel Atuforsen, has joined us in the studio to shed light on the proposed bailout. Thank you so much for joining me, sir. Thank you. Right. Now, before we get into the discussion, I'd like to read this press release that was just uh, sent to us. Uh, that's um, about what the president has been saying regarding this IMF um, bailout. It says the president, John Mahama, uh, says the decision to open discussions with the International Monetary Fund is not because of the failure of government's own homegrown solutions, but rather because of the need for policy credibility and confidence from the international financial institutions, capital markets, and investors mm -hmm. for the measures being implemented to restore economic stability and growth. He noted that turning to the IMF is a decision to gain the seal of approval from the Bretton Woods institutions for the country's homegrown measures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, there are um, uh, some other things that will come up in the discussion. Uh, but let me ask, basically, if you talk about bailout, doesn't it connote that we are at the brink of something very bad? And that's how come we have to go for it? Thank you very much, mm. Conrad. Um, let me say that, no, we are not at the brink of mm. something bad that <laughs> is going to happen. Okay. But indeed, we, we, this is not the first time we go into the IMF. Ghana remains members of the IMF. We have been with the fund mm. so many times, and the, a number of presidents, Kwame Nkrumah, down to Jerry Rollins, mm. down to Kufu, and obviously at Tamils, and now um, President Mahama. Let me say that the IMF provides a budget of uh, by budget of payment support okay. to government. That comes in so that we'll be able to build our buffers mm. and then the central bank will be able to have money to shore up the city mm. so that the city will be stable. Okay. Outside of the IMF will provide you what we call the technical support in areas of tax policy, expenditure management, debt management, and most importantly, uh, um, um, what we call banking supervision. But I think the most important one that you get out of a program mm. is the fact that you will be able to leverage the program to send political credibility, okay. as the president said. Mm. And indeed, the signaling effect of a program is extremely good for a country. Why are we saying this? The capital market before will see us as a risky country and investing in, and then probably add 200 basis points or 300 basis points as a risk element. Mm. Now that we've gone to a fund, that may not be there. So you make some savings out of that if okay. you go out there to borrow. So it's, it's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. And let me uh, again um, emphasize the point that it has been, there has been a number of talks that our development partners mm -hmm. are not releasing, mm -hmm. obviously because um, of a number of reasons. Now that we decide to go to a fund, you see the development partners leveraging on that okay. and then saying that, yes, we, we're going to release because they use the IMF program they write upon that mm. and then pay you or release their disbursements as they've pledged. So, so basically, it's good news for us. Really? really. Now, so what about some who have said that uh, we have homegrown solutions that could have been used uh, to stabilize the city? Some have were actually uh, uh, implemented by the central bank. Don't you think that some of these could have been fallen on without us going internationally? As I said, the homegrown in itself will, will not necessarily give you the, the, the leverage mm. that you want to have. Um, obviously, you go to IMF, and then before you go to IMF, mm. you have to have some policy that you take to IMF. What we've done is that in the past, we've had a number of meetings. Mm. Obviously, we did the whole consensus um, on the single spine sustainability. That was very much done. Mm. After that, ourselves, we, we prepared the homegrown. We went to Parliament, presented to Parliament. Parliament debated it, looked at it, accepted that. We then developed that mm. and then prepared the homegrown. And afterwards, we went to the, the Senshi. Mm. Um, we had a number of consensus from there. Mm. The homegrown itself was sent to the fund, the IMF. Okay. And the IMF board has seen it, debated it, and sent some comment to us. Mm. So clearly, unlike other countries or some countries or in the past where people go to the fund and then they don't have anything okay. to, 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 to start with, we have our own program. What we are doing now is that based on the same homegrown, we are calling the fund to support us in implementing our homegrown. And obviously, they will support us. And then what I said earlier is mm. that 
in implementing the homegrown, we will additionally have something that we wouldn't have had, and mm -hmm. that is the signaling effect. Okay. But it was signal. It was signal policy credibility. DPs will ride on that. In fact, um, rating agencies will ride on that. And out of that, we'll be able to benefit from that as a country. Mm -hmm. In fact, some releases will come to fall, and then that will support the city and support us and put the country to macroeconomic stability and growth. Right, but the, the IMF uh, bailout will surely come with some conditions, and uh, some fear that these may have some dire consequences on the economy. What assurance would you give to allay these fears? I want to say that, yes, um, we're going for a fund program. Indeed, um, in almost everything, there are pros and cons. Mm. But I can assure you that in this case, the pros are more than the cons. Um, in the past, mm. and I heard this on, a number on another platform, right. that in the past, we've gone for a program and we're directed to do mm. certain things. But let me say again that um, um, Ghana yesterday mm. is, not, is not the same as Ghana today. Okay. We went to IMF program as a lower income country in the past. Today, we're a lower middle income country. The premise changes. Mm. We are going to negotiate with development agenda very much on the table. We are going to negotiate bringing on board the development agencies that the World Bank and Africa Development Bank. Mm. And necessary, we're going to negotiate to ensure that the country's future is very much mm. secured. Right, and finally, what would be the exit point for this bailout and uh, what uh, results are we expected to actually see after that? Okay, there's a point normally you get a program for three years. Mm. We've just coming from a program from 2009 to 2012. In fact, before then, between 2001 to 2006, we were on the program. We exited and did obviously we did. Mm. What we're doing now is um, the fact that we can stable this country. Okay. So in the end, we want to ensure that we have macroeconomic stability. We want to ensure that the long-term growth of this country is mm. very much present. We also want to make sure that decisions we take today mm. will make sure the future is very much protected. Right. And the man on the street will benefit out of that. Okay. Because today, because of the way the city is performing, you, keep, you speak to people and people are very much concerned. Because the man on the street goes out there, buys something today, and mm. it changes mm. as a result of depreciation. What we are saying is, under this program, we'll be able to see stability. Indeed, between 2009 to 2012, mm. when we were under the IMF program, you saw the city very much stable. So we are saying is that, under this program, we we'll see stability, we we'll see growth. This country will grow. And that is what we're talking about. Right, but this is just um, a, a proposal or a, a consent that has been given, I should say. But So when exactly are we likely to go for it? Oh, we've started discussion. Okay. Um, normally, um, discussions start. Mm. Um, we expect IMF um, um, team down um, here in Ghana, and mission starts sometimes mid-September. Okay. And then we'll be able to film something. Right. Okay, thank you so much. Thank That's you Deputy you. Minister for Finance and Economic Planning, Kassiel Atufosin, who has been speaking to us on the proposed uh, discussions with the International Monetary Fund about a bailout.